Hi, yarn of bees. Uh, just checking in. Worst day ever. Oh my God. I just want to chop my foot off. I think I was a little overzealous that first day I was still, I still had drugs in me and anesthesia and all that. And I was feeling really good. And uh, last night my foot started to throb really bad. <clears throat> and uh, it just, my big toe hurts so much. Oh my God. And then in the middle of the night, I guess I was twitching or something and my toe bent and I felt a crack and I just almost started screaming. It was horrible. And I've been up since like three o'clock this morning, just in agony. Um, <clears throat> my throat's still really sore. Uh, George just left for work. So I'm on my own and uh, yeah, the pills aren't helping. The meds aren't helping at all. They're just taking the edge off, but oh, yeah, I just can't get my foot in a comfortable position. I just want to rip this bandage off. It's, oh, it's driving me crazy. But the the pain. I remember some of you were saying that the throbbing was going to be the worst. Yeah, well, it is. <clears throat> but when that toe cracked, oh my God, I thought I was going to die. It was bad. And uh, I felt really bad waking George up. But I needed some pills and stats. Like it was, it was nasty. Right now it just feels like my whole toe on the back and the front is like burning. It's a, like a numbing, burning feeling. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so it's not a good day. I'm hoping this is going to pass quickly. But, uh, yeah, I was so hopeful, I was so hopeful. I was thinking, oh, this isn't going to be so bad. Yeah. And then reality kicked in. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm, uh, pretty much just going to be sitting on my butt. I'm going to try and crochet. I'm a little drugged up, so, and I'm, uh, without being able to keep my foot in any position at any given time, might prove it's a little difficult, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. For some reason today I feel like Billy from the Crafty Floridian, <laughs> sitting in my chair, just talking to you, you know. Dripping, drinking my coffee. <laughs> Which is really hot. Ow. <clears throat> Doesn't feel very good on a sore throat. Uh, anyway, i just checking in. Just letting you know how I'm doing. I'm, I'm really hoping this... And of course, it's the weekend. So even if I wanted to call my doctor, I can't. And ask her if this is normal or if this like how do you stop your toe from doing what it's going to do you know they said that I'm supposed to wiggle my toes a little bit well that was a bit excessive and now I can't move it at all <clears throat> so oh, but my foot I think is very swollen I can it just looks like a big club foot so but anyway, okay, that's all I have for today. I got Bailey's sitting by me. George is doing all the laundry he, before he was leave before he left. He was trying to do the laundry. 
and uh, so the house is a little bit in disarray. It's, you know, it is what it is. I have to just go and let it go, right? So, George cheated last night and, uh, or the day before and got pizza. And uh, so he had that for dinner last night. So he hasn't actually cooked a meal yet. He's probably going to have to today. Although he should have probably taken something out and put it in the crock pot. But <clears throat> he's going to learn quick. Because <laughs> I can't do anything today. Like, I just, there's no way. Mm -mm. Standing up aches. It just, the pain, just this stupid pain. Like, just craziness. So, but I have to get up every once in a while. Even though I'm on the blood thinner, I still need to get up and move around and stuff. But, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. I know this is a really, really, really short one. But I will keep you posted throughout the day. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I didn't show you. Guess what I got in the mail yesterday. Ah. Let's see if I can turn you guys around. Oh, I'll be focused. Look at this. It's my new furls. Excuse me, and my um, oops, and my new carrying case. It's uh, so pretty. I'm supposed to have two of these cases. I ordered two, but um, yeah, it's so pretty. This is the cream from the Cookies and Cream, and this is the these are the Auroras. I thought the auroras were green, but they're actually blue. Some of them might be green, but, uh, oh. whoa, <laughs> they're all falling down. Yeah, the other auroras, it's really cool blue. Like it's really, you can't see the sparkle in it very good, I don't think, but, uh, yeah, it's really pretty. So I was really happy with that. Happy that they came. Now I get to try them. I got to figure out a project for them. So, yeah. So there you have it. Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> um just a little update I'm feeling a lot better than I did this morning but I've been sleeping all day <clears throat> my throat's still really sore uh, they really messed up my throat I'm sure of it <clears throat> um, but yeah I've been trying to keep on top of my pills um, I was in tremendous pain today um, and last night it was just, wow. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't have to go through that all the time because that's just bad, bad, bad. Um, <clears throat> I just woke up, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not looking the brightest. I guess I can get closer. Ah. Um, <clears throat> the dog has been by my side all day. She slept with me all day long. So, and the cat's taking over my chair when I'm not here yeah it's like that <laughs> so <clears throat> um yeah there's not a whole lot to report on other than my pain level uh I saw Madonna's video today about um everybody's so negative 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 and it should be tis the season to be happy and everything but sorry Madonna <laughs> This sucks bad. <laughs> so I'm not going to sugarcoat it by any means. Um, yeah, 
I haven't been able to watch anybody's videos because I've been sleeping, right? So I'm going to try and maybe do some of that now. I haven't been able to do any crochet. Well, you crocheted a little bit today. Yeah. <clears throat> basically, I... everything that's happening is pretty much what we was been described to us. So I think yesterday, Sandy kind of fooled herself because she wasn't really feeling a whole lot of pain because... I guess there was still some anesthetic in her system mm -hmm. and uh, there was the swelling. I think what's happening is the swelling is starting to go down a little bit and uh, every, up, everything's kind of waking up and your, your <laughs> foot's now realizing, holy shit, I've just had surgery. And, you know, today's a day where it's really starting to hurt and that's probably going to be that way for another day or so. I hope not, but then it will start to fade and it'll just be throbbing and sore and gradually get better it's all part of the healing process so um you know we were warned that this is not going to be an easy thing that it's painful and unpleasant and and a long recovery <coughs> back so sandy's been a real champ she's been getting around really well with our wonderful Nenaimo tominator if you ever get anything like this done buy a knee scooter it's worth every oh penny God, because yeah. i don't think she'd be getting around with her crutches she's not i think the muscles you guys develop when you crochet are not conducive to using crutches because <laughs> sandy couldn't move more than three feet so you need to Who's i don't know that? <laughs> get up and do some push-ups every hour or so when you're crocheting i don't know oh my but God. uh anyway yeah. the scooter though for her has been been really good <laughs> so i um I actually went out and did a, a little bit of work this morning. I had I had, had already had a job scheduled long before this uh, surgery was booked, so I knew I had to do at least one. And because she was feeling so good yesterday, I figured, well, I'll go do a couple of other jobs because she seems to be pretty good. And then, of course, this morning she was in horrible pain, and I oh felt really God. shitty about leaving her at all. So um, I was supposed to go to a Christmas party tomorrow, but I'm not going to go because I would be gone for about eight hours. The party's four hours long and Victoria's an hour and a half to get there and an hour and a half to get home. And I don't want to leave Sandy alone for that long. Uh, Monday, I'll be back to uh, my regular working, but it, uh, I'm not super busy yet. At this time of year, it's a little bit hit and miss. So I've got, I think, uh, f four or five jobs, which for me means I'll be home by probably two, three o'clock, maybe in the afternoon. And if Sandy has anything happen that's really dire, she can always call me and I can get home between jobs to help her with something and our neighbor is is here. Luckily we've got a really good friend next door that's willing to come over. Even the other neighbor just down the road, uh, Alexandra, has also said she's available if Sandy needs anything. So we do have a little bit of support. I know we kind of portrayed that we're all yeah, alone but, but uh, it, it's hard to it feels that way that. when you ask your family said well we'll be there for you and then when the time comes they're not there for you so it's uh, a little i don't like so. asking for help either um, you know like from someone outside of the family well but. and a number of you have commented on how worn out and horrible and stuff that i've been looking <laughs> through all this ordeal and I want to say for the record that I always look this bad. So there's, it's nothing extraordinary. No. Uh, no, obviously this is hard. I mean, when you love somebody and they're going through pain, it's, you know, you never want to have to go through that. I, I personally would much rather take the pain on myself than to see Sandy go through it because I would tough it out and probably go to work anyway. But, oh, uh, you didn't want the pain I had last well, night. Oh, my you God. Know, She's going through similar to when I tore the bicep on my arm. It was really bad. And uh, because I'm self-employed, they wanted me to take four months off of work and there's just no way. So I literally went to work six days after the surgery, very much against doctor's orders. And He's just stubborn. Worked with one arm and it was it sucked. It hurt and was painful and awful. But having said that, the fact that I was out and active actually did help me recover much more quickly. So hopefully, you know, Sandy being able to at least get up and around a little bit with the scooter is going to help her somewhat. So this although the scooter does not come with a little trailer for her pillows that she needs to put <laughs> under her feet when she gets to her chair from the bed. Oh, what a fiasco. So we have this little shuttle thing going where oh she um, 
takes the two pillows from the chair and has to prop them in the bed so she can get in the bed and prop her leg up on the pillow thing and then when she wants to come out into the living room she's got to somehow get the pillows from the bed to the chair and it's bad enough that so. I have to try and get me from the bed to the chair with my scooter and try and maneuver around the furniture and the dogs and the cat and have to you know trying to take pillows with me too it's like yeah no it doesn't work <laughs> so anyway so. we're just getting through it we know it's going to be a, a long haul but at least she's able to more or less semi-function on her own and get to and from the bathroom and you know get herself something to eat if she needs to and although i am cooking tonight yes another wonderful crock pot dinner so yes he um, is we're smelling it actually as we're recording this video it's actually it's smelling kind of really good. good so um that'll be ready in about another hour or so because it's a slow cooker uh, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to eat. I really haven't eaten today. So you got you should so. at least try to eat something. Yeah. She'll do what she always does. She'll take two bites and then say, "Here, you finish it for me," which is why I can't lose weight because <laughs> I'm eating all of my food and most of Sandy's too because she does this shit to me all the time. So uh, yeah, well. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to keep my fluids up more than anything because you know. The whole but you got to eat it's going to help your recovery and the fact that sandy's been sleeping all day i think is actually good because your body heals when in your sleep so this is her body's way of saying yeah. you know that we need to heal and yeah. so hopefully it works you know <clears throat> now we did manage to negotiate uh, her first shower yesterday as well oh, so we God. we got this wonderful thing from a customer of mine that you can put over your um leg and it's completely watertight so she's able to get in and out of the shower yeah. and not have to worry about her dressings and everything getting wet and so we have a shower chair there and then yeah. she has her own personal shower attendant who goes in with her and uh, <laughs> scrubs your back and washes your hair and so holds nice. a little shower thing and all of that yeah, of course it so it, nice and it makes me have a shower too at the same time so yeah. It was very and romantical. He, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, foreplay or whatever. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it, was, it was nice. You know, I'm hoping this. I'm hoping we're not seeing our future. Uh, this is what it's going to be. <laughs> but uh, that wasn't so bad. Well, you know, he actually washed my hair for except, me. Except you know, I'm going to be it. being the older one. I'll be the one that'll be getting all the care. Huh. So I'll know. just get a cute nurse to come in and help yeah, you. Yeah, that'll be okay. <laughs> um, anyway. So, anyway, guys, oh, um, yeah. I guess that's that's our story. We're just trying to give you a little snippets here and there to let you know kind of how it's going. But I don't think we're going to see, you know, huge dramatic progress from one day to the next. It's going to be a little bit at a time. and Yeah. You know, so. I've got all these things that I wanted to get done, too. And... I was so hopeful that first day, and I was going, yeah, I can do it. And, and now I'm going, no, I can't. <laughs> well, like, today you know. a little bit of reality kind of crept in, I guess, a little bit. So hopefully yeah. this is going to be the worst, and it's just going to get, get better from here. And even though it was really, really bad this morning, it's already better by this afternoon. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll be a little yeah. bit better yet. And I just and wish they'd give so me better on. drugs. Apparently wow. this is supposed to be top-notch drugs. People pay not. $50 a piece for these pills on the street. Yeah. And yet they're barely dulling Sandy's pain. They're not really. They're making her dopey. What is it, oxycodone? Oxycodone. They're making her oxycodone. dopey and tired, but not really no. helping her much with her actual pain. But uh, anyway. No. no, I wanted to chop my foot off this morning. I was just in so much freaking pain. It was insane. But. <clears throat> I'm doing a little bit better. Well, you better. shifted it to when you were sleeping. I think part of it is she yeah. was uh, finally really sleeping, really in a deep sleep, and she just tried to roll over and move her foot a bit, and as soon as she shifted it a certain way, I went, ooh. Well, my toe cracked. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> my toe cracked, and I heard it, and it jolted me awake, and then all of a sudden the pain hit, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Yeah. Like, it was bad, and... I, I didn't want to wake up George, but at the same time, I, it was like... Every time oh she God. rolls over or makes a noise, I'm awake anyway. I've got that new mummy thing that, you know, the baby's <laughs> doing whatever. So, yeah. 
You know, I can tell when she's awake and when she's getting up to go to the bathroom, I'm awake to make sure that she's able to get up and negotiate everything yeah. okay. So I think last night I was up at like one and three and and then finally, um, you know, she woke me up at five o'clock and I was going to get up at six anyway because I was working. So I just thought, the hell with it, I'll just get up at five. So, yeah, you know, so whatever. But tomorrow I don't have to work, uh, so we're going to stay home. I'm going to... You know, try to keep her comfortable and devote my day to really important stuff like watching three or football. four football games. Um, yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm missing my little Christmas party, but honestly, going without Sandy, everybody, all they'd want to talk about is how's Sandy doing, how's Sandy doing, and so it wouldn't really be much of a social thing. And like I say, it's because it's in Victoria, it's an hour and a half to get there, an hour and a half to get home, so there's three hours. The party's four hours long, so I don't really want to be gone for yeah. seven whole hours, because if anything happens, I'm in Victoria. I'm not even close by to, to come and do anything to help her if she needs me, so. Yeah, there's not a whole so. lot that you can do, though. I mean, other than the little stuff, like give me my water or whatever. You know, I mean, because when I get up and I start scooting around the house, it hurts and it takes a lot out of me and so once i get in my chair for me to actually get up and get my water or whatever i'm finding it's a bit of a difficult task so well you I haven't had to because i've been here to get it for you but starting yeah. monday when i'm back to work yeah you're gonna have to get up and you know maybe getting up and down is actually going to be good for you because he did tell you <laughs> your doctor yeah. did say why don't you get up and around a little bit yeah um but he also said you weren't going to need any blood thinners, mm -hmm. and the reason why he wanted you to get up and around was to try to prevent the blood clots, and now you're on the blood thinners, so yeah. maybe you don't have to get up and around as much as what he was saying, so, you know, she can't put any weight on her foot, so, but her, basically all it. she's if doing do. is, is just getting around on the knee scooter, but at least with the scooter she's able to roll herself along and not have to do the crutch thing where she's supporting her weight with her arms and stuff yeah, and it's just can't do that it's too tough for her right so yeah i'm trying to move my toes a little bit and it just it's not worth it <laughs> it's not worth the pain <laughs> so anyways guys we've taken up your time long enough we just wanted to check in with you and uh i am getting better i'm i'm still feeling all the love from you guys Yes, thanks so, for the support. You yes. Send money. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to go through about 200 comments last night. Oh, yeah. It's a full-time job was, just trying to respond. Oh, so I am getting your comments. I'm just giving it a heart for the most part because I, I'm still really drugged up, and I but I am getting the messages. Okay, so thank you so much. So I guess we will talk to you later then. I don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Sure you will, because you're bored and you don't want to do a video. <laughs> I can only this say... This is almost I'm, like her job now. I, I can only say I'm in pain so many times before everybody says, Oh, would you shut up? <laughs> yeah, well. <clears throat> you know, so... But anyways. Okay, guys. So we will talk to you later. Okay? Love you. Okay, have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye.